look at this uh, to understand the decimal you must learn the place value first so before we are going to uh, enter into the decimal numbers we must know the place value of decimal numbers so that is what i have written to understand the decimal you must learn the decimal what place value decimal place value first so first it is it, this is a that is there are two parts one is a whole part other one is a decimal part whole part is whole number part that is 10,000, 1,000, 100, 10, that you know it very well. So, 10,000, 5, 10,000, 4,000 and 2 hundreds, then 3 tens and 6 ones. This is a what? This is a whole number part. Okay, up to this, up to this. So, from this to this, whole number part. What do you call it is? Whole number. Whole number part. Okay. And the next part is, what is this? This is a decimal part. So, we must know that tens first, T-E-N-T-H-S. So, remember the spelling is very essential, T-E-N-T-H-S. T-E-N-T-H-S, tens, H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H-S. H-U-N-D-R-E-D-T-H-S. Hundreds, normal spelling, H-U-N-D-R-E-D, -E hundreds, that is a normal spelling. After that, you must add only THs. It is called as hundreds, tenth, so T-E-N, ten as it is. After that, you must write THs, so tens. Okay, next is thousandth, thousandths, T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D, thousand is a common spelling after that you must add ths so for 10 you must add ths hundreds place value you must add ths and thousand place value you must add ths so tens and after that what you're going to say that is hundreds then thousands okay that is what so in the tens value tens place value the number is six so in the hundreds place value hundreds place value the number is two the thousands place value number is four so how we are going to write this so this part is called as a what this part is called as up to this this is a decimal part we can call it as a decimal part so decimal part so you must write the number now see look at this number five four two three that is six that is one tens hundred thousand ten thousand and fifty four thousand two hundred and thirty six so this is a whole part whole number part and after that you must put a point this point is called as a what decimal point what point it is decimal point decimal point and this is called as a whole number part whole number n o n o it is nothing but whole number part the remaining is 624. What is this? 624. So you should not say uh, what 624. You should not after the point, after the point that means while you put a point that is called as a decimal point, after the point you should not say 624. You must say 624. That is called as 624. So 6 tens, 2 hundreds and 4 thousands. So 624. 5 54, 54,200 and you should not say 54236. So only after the point only you must say 624. That is after the decimal point. After the decimal point you must say the place value of the number. You must use only the what? 624. 624 like this. So you have to say the numbers. Only the numbers. So 54,236.624. 624. That's 6 tens. And what is this? Two hundreds and four thousands. Again, we'll repeat five, four, two, three, six. The whole whole number part is called as a what? This is a whole number part. How could you say this number? Fifty-four thousand, one tens, hundred thousand, ten thousand. So fifty-four thousand two hundred and thirty-six point six two four. That is six two four is six tens, six tens and two hundreds and four thousands. This is a place value. So after that, this is a word form and this is a standard form. One tenth. So we can call it as one by tenth. So the one tenth it is called as one by tenth. So for the decimal value, 0 0.1. For three hundreds, this is an example. This is an example of word form and standard form. So this is a three hundreds. We can call it as three hundreds. This is standard form three by hundred. This is called a three by hundred is called in word form as 
what how could you say 3 by 100 in what form 300th okay so we we must write we could write as a what decimal point 0.03 i have already explained very clearly 3 by 100 so uh, 3 is a numerator and 100 is a what denominator in the denominator there are two zeros in the numerator only one digit so you need one more digit but you don't have one more digit so you have to write zero point after that zero is uh, when whenever you convert into decimal uh, decimal um, fraction is converted to decimal number so you have to uh, first you have to write 0 after that you must put a point then you have to write 0 3 why do you write 0 3 that is nothing but this is 0 is a 10th place and 3 is a 100th place 3 is a 100th place you have two digits you have only one digit so you need one more digit but there is no digit that's what you must put 0 and that's what you must add 0 0 0.03 even though you can write like this I taught you 3 after that 0 then you must put a point then before the point you must write 0 this also you can write otherwise first you have to write 0 then you have to put a point then I have told you there are two digits so but here only one digit in the denominator how many zeros that means two zeros so that is two digit here only one digit so you need one more zero, one more digit so that is what if you don't have one more digit you have to write what zero after that what what is the number is given in the numerator so zero three so this is the what after zero point zero three you must call it as and after that zero is in tenth place and three is in a hundredth place I think you understand the next example is 1 and 27 hundredths that is 1 and 1 is a whole number and 27 by 100 27 hundredths 27 hundredths so 27 hundredths and 27 divided by 100 it is in a fraction form so overall if we can call it as a what it is a what it is a um, it is a mixed fraction it is a mixed fraction so 1 is a whole number and remaining as a proper fraction so whole number is not uh, what is this proper mixed fraction is nothing but composed of a whole number and a proper fraction that is what given 1 divided 1 and 27 by 100 1 and 27 by 100 that is what you given 1 and 27 hundreds 1 and 27 hundreds that is the what 1 and what is 1 27 1 and 27 by 100 so 1 is a whole number after that point you have to write 0.27 that is what whatever the numerator you have to write like this after the after, after the what is after the point you have to write 27 27 we can call it as 1.27 1 is a whole number while you convert the mixed fraction into what uh, that is a decimal number so first you have to write the whole number as it is then you have to write see here i have told you already so numerator is 27 and denominator is 100 so how many digits sorry how many zeros in hundreds two zeros here two digits are here so there is no problem so one after that you must put a point this point is called as a decimal point so you have to write 27 1.27 that's the answer for this question and eight thousands we can write it is in a it eight thousand a word form and this is in a what standard form eight by thousand eight by thousand after that you're going to write see here look at the denominator so three three zeros here only one digit so you have to write two more digit but there is no digit there is no number here so so if there is no number you have to add what zero so you have to add two zeros after the point then you have to write the numerator what is what is the number in the given what is what is the number given in the numerator so 0 0.008 so this is 0, 0.0 so you convert the decimal means you have to what you have to you have to write zero after that you must put a point that point is called as a decimal point after that you must write zero zero eight so zero point zero zero eight convert a fraction into a decimal that's answer so seventy five thousands seventy five thousands this is a word form this is standard form seventy five by thousand it is in a what standard form it is a fraction so for word form you have to write seventy five thousands so what you are going to write so 0 0.075 so why i write zero here because there are three digits three zeros but here only two digit so you need one more digit that is what i have written what zero this is what this zero it's what is tens place and this zero sorry this 
0, 0 is a decimal it represents the decimal after that you must put a point that is called as decimal point after that you have to write the what after that you have to convert this fraction into decimal so 0 7 5 0 in a tenths place and 7 is in a hundredths place and 5 is a thousands place this also same here so 0 is in what 0 is a decimal represent decimal and point is considered as a decimal point after that 0 first 0 it's in tens place and after this 0 is hundreds place and this 8 is in thousands place 1.27 it is a whole number after that you must put a point then you have to write 27 this is in tens place and this is in hundreds place i think you understand clearly